the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> how's everybody? My name is Johnny Knoxville and I want to say my new movie, Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, comes out October 24th in Germany. I want you to go see it and I want you to look at a clip because I think you're going to like it. Grandpa, this thing doesn't work. Oh God, nothing. I'm hungry. Follow my lane. Oh, 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 oh. Help me! Okay, Grandpa. Oh. 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 Ooh, I'm hungover. Whew. But I do want to show you some of my favorite movies and just kind of walk around and chat for a second. You, you want to you wanna come? Dr. Strangelove. Uh, apparently, um, Stanley Kubrick had George C. Scott do a over-the-top uh, type of delivery, just each take. I mean, he did a, he, he played the entire movie straight, but each take he asked him to do an over-top over -top delivery. And, and then Kubrick ended up uh, just using the over-the-top delivery the whole movie, and I think George C. Scott was really pissed. And I wouldn't want to piss off George C. Scott because uh, his nose was hooked for a reason because he got in a lot of fights. Harold and Maude is... I seen this so many times and I never ever get sick of watching it. Such a sweet love story and Ruth Gordon is amazing in it. Uh, and just the way the story unfolds, uh, I mean I love how Ashby, he did uh, Shampoo, Being There, some of the, two of my other favorite films. Oh, look how hot Faye Dunaway is in Bonnie and Clyde. She's gorgeous. Like, disarmingly pretty. Uh, and same thing in, in Network. I mean, she's gorgeous there. She's a little bit older and, and still gorgeous, but that's an amazing movie. Network. It's a great script, too. Uh, and, and, and also, uh, Warren, Brady, Warren Beatty's pretty fucking hot in this, too. I mean, now this is great. But this, I know everyone loves this movie and they might look at it like, you know in school they'll make you read a classic book, you're like, oh fuck, I gotta read this book. And some of them are just a drag and I think some people look at classic movies that way. It's like, I don't wanna watch that. But this is brilliant. And apparently they said when it came out, it got in a kind of so-so reaction and I just can't imagine how it wasn't a classic instantly, but I don't know. I don't know how these things happen. Oh, Monty Python is great. That's one of the Monty Python films. It's like you're 13, 14, and they would. It felt like you were getting away with something when you get to watch an R-rated movie like that. That's so funny. They swear a lot, and it makes you giggle a lot when you're 13, and it still makes me giggle. <laughs> the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. I never even heard of that film. I want to take a picture. I think my wife will think this is very funny. Aw, oh, shit, my flash was on. That sucks. The itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> oh, now here's some excellent films, excellent comedies. Jackass 1 and 3. And I don't see two, but I know it must be checked out because otherwise it would be here. Um, I started to say, oh, I love Arthur, but that's the one with what's his name. The one with Dudley Moore is the one to see. Uh, I, I don't know. That may be good, but I don't, I don't, I didn't care to fucking see it. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Boobies. That's great. I like they put boobies on the cover. Sorry. Ah! Now this is probably one of my top three films of all time, Cinema Paradiso. 
just the relationship between the old man and the young boy, kind of like in Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa coming out October 24th in Germany. Uh, it's just so many wonderful scenes when uh, he tells the little boy, he's like, uh, I don't want to hear you. I want uh, to hear other people talking about you because he doesn't want him to uh, stay in that same small town. And he wants him to get out in the world and do something. Uh, that's pretty amazing. I, I kind of came from a small town, and I, uh, I don't know. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Just when he, when he comes back and uh, Toto comes back into the town after the old man had died and the old man had left him uh, a gift. Mm -hmm. I don't give it away for everyone, but they, oh, mwah. it's. I'm almost getting choked up just talking about it. Oh, welcome in Mr. Chance. Uh, I love the. I love when they change titles. Uh, I don't know, but being there is another Hal Ashby film which I talked about earlier, and Peter Sellers is amazing in it. This he made, did he die during the production of this movie? Uh, yeah, uh, but you know he just plays this simple gardener and. You know, he's got this uh, Zen type of approach to life. Which, uh, he's, he's just he's, he's, he's such uh, such a sweet character. And at the end, when he uh, walks away and uh, says, "Life is a state of mind." No, he didn't say life is a state of mind. It was uh, what's his name? Jack Warden was giving a, a eulogy or something, right? When he said, "Life is a state of mind," and. Uh, yeah, I've seen this so many times because I will watch films over and over. I'm like a little kid. You know, you just turn on car the same cartoon over and over. I'll just watch the same movies over and over. Fast We in Alten Zeiten. Seems like old times. Yeah. How does it translate into German? Almost literally. Almost literally. Yeah. Uh, that's one I watched when I was growing up a lot uh, as a teenager. I watch it with my mom. and uh, I mean, Neil Simon's brilliant. Uh, can you imagine show, uh, Sid Caesar show shows like uh, Neil Simon, Woody Allen, uh, Mel Brooks, who Mel Brooks is such a huge, oh sorry, you don't like when I touch the microphone? <laughs> Mel Brooks is such a huge hero of mine. Uh, Blazing Saddles is my favorite comedy period ever. Uh, the fight scene in the, when they break into, through the wall? The oh, that's great too. And uh, Dom DeLuise is playing the uh, choreographer. Yeah. <laughs> Throw out your hands, stick out your tush, hands on your hips, give him a push. <laughs> Whoa. I don't get me started because I'll just, yeah. I just love, uh, yeah, Mel Brooks is my that's another one of my that's on my Mount Rushmore. I see more boobies <laughs> battling, <laughs> battling heaven. All right, I hope you like some of my recommendations. Please see them. God, ah, Blazing Saddles, please see. Vernon, Florida, all those films. And uh, that's it for me. Before I go, please also see Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa coming out October 24th in Germany. I think you're going to like it, and I hope it makes some of your favorite lists. I have to go now. i got to get to the store and get some water. I'm hungover. Whew. Oh, shit. Bye, friends. Hello.